Hello and welcome to today's uh, wild Hearthstone deck deck and gameplay video on Undead Aggro. Undead Aggro is honestly a little bit of a meme deck uh, that wants to use lots of low to the ground, both creatures and undead creatures like your banshees and armed dealers, as well as cards like peasants and just other general like low to the ground cards to sort of run down our opponent before they can sort of mount a defense. To do that, besides all of the just good undead synergies that we have. We also have cards like Undertakers and the new, well, not newly now, but when I made this deck, the newly buffed Wither, which sort of helped, and cards like Cloth Fury Adept, and Composting, and even, where is it, Voracious Reader for some card draw, so hopefully you don't run out of gas in our attempt to just run our opponent over. <laughs> not a whole lot to this deck, honestly, so... We'll go on to game number one, but before we do, don't forget to like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you like my grab bag content and would like to see more in the future. And if you have any sort of comments, like I don't have X, what about Y, go ahead and leave them down below. But for reference, for anybody who's really concerned about uh, budget concerns, I don't think there's that any thing above an epic besides the composting. Oh, composting and wither. There's no legendary, so really it's pretty, um, what's the word, it's pretty budget friendly as a sweet cat gets in front of the <laughs> screen. Thank you, sweetheart. And even then, don't be that married to composting, it's nice, but you could run like a nourish or something <laughs> and be just fine. Now, on to game number one. Victory. The forest and game back. number one with our little undead acro list. Like any good aggressive list, we basically just want to have a good curve. So we got a one drop, but we do have a three drop. Let's just draw some cards. That's arguably even better. We'll see what we draw, see what our opponent is. I would say it's shadow, so that tells us something that doesn't really. Yeah. That kid hey, might actually do the arms dealer point if you want to Since he can hero power down one of our creatures anyway. But he can't do it with both. Let's see what we draw. Eh, another one. We'll take it. Now we'll just undertake it. Okay, we just kind of have to make our opponent use their answers. That's really all you can hope to do. They're not really developing their own board though, which is nice. We like to keep the Claw Fury Adept as like a sort of mini Savage Roar if at all possible, so we'll go ahead and do the first three of them. will also allow us to draw immediately. Which is nice. What are we doing for mana? That's Don't keep your thoughts to yourself. Okay, now nah, that doesn't. Okay, I guess that's not the most scary. We can just wither that down. We can just keep pushing right through. Yeah, let's do that actually. Yeah. Go ahead and wither this down. This is your power good. Your face. This is And making as as much as we can, making use of the reader's card draw, which is very nice. Some sort of sweeper, maybe. Okay, so so it's Reno then, which I was thinking of as a possibility. I know you can potion for one, but I don't know offhand all of the one potions because at this level. Get the f out of here. In that case, honestly, I think we'll just claw fury. We'll use a compost thing. Let's see, we're hitting with three, uh, six and three is nine, ten, thirteen. So we'll use this one damage good. to get their Kazakus. Then go to the rest of the base. We did have like a solar we don't want them to get like repeated Kazakus ends or whatever the card's called. Kazakus, sorry. Okay, that's fine. Not great, but not shady. Okay. Let's get a ping down our arms dealer. Okay. 
I mean, it resolves. That's fine. In that case, I think we'll go ahead and crit the board. Probably give our uh, little undead friend to these things. Keep going, face. Now they could have Reno you know, and life would be miserable, at which point there's a good chance we just lose immediately. Which isn't great. But this is another one of those where I believe we're threatening lethal, right? Two, four, six, eight, nine. Yeah. That's not a Reno, which is good. And him being shadow means odds are he doesn't have as clean access to healing, which is nice. Hi, Carmel. Just to get out of your way. All right. Uh, what do we do? We're hitting with. Okay, we hit two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right. <laughs> All right, I can count. Pretty good game, showing basically it's a pure aggro list. It's not really that much to it. <laughs> it's like an aggro list in any card game, really. You're just trying to run our opponent down. Now we'll go on to game number two. And game number two with our little undead aggro list is against another priest. We'll see if it's. Something similar. Um, look for a better curve. We do have a one drop. Although I, your ideal one drops are things like arms dealers or undertakers, because those can help your board get to like grow really, really fast. But peasants are perfectly fine. So we'll go ahead and peasant on turn one. Okay, luckily this one isn't also a shadow priest, so it's not the same game twice. Wow, it actually lived. Well done. Um. Yeah. We'll go ahead and do Vault and Spell. Just try and be the most mana efficient. There is an argument to be made for maybe playing two lingering zombies as they do similar things. Eh, it's not wrong. Alright, coin from our opponent. I mean, okay. I guess? In that case, we'll go ahead and do one lingering zombie and hero power to kill that remaining. Are we unironically running that? Okay. I, I don't know if that's good, but it's interesting. Next turn, if nothing else, we can always eh, maybe play a Geist and a Composting. If our board doesn't get swept. Huh, what is our opponent running? Okay, that's... So it's like an undead priest? Alright. Let's see what we find. Crypt Lord's kind of good. I think it might be Crypt Lord and we'll wait a turn to do a composting. So we can protect our board from that big old scary raid. Let's see what we'll draw next turn. Honestly, a Necrolite is not the worst thing, so we can sort of ensure our board lives. Ignore their board, just try and hit the face. Now, he can't kill the, uh... Welcome to the it is undead, okay. Huh. This is, I haven't actually seen one of these in person yet, so I'm all about this. I think we can do Undertaker. You're dead. Let's see what we do here. Do we want Claw Fury and try and push? I think we will Claw Fury actually. And then we'll compost it. Okay, so we'll do three, two. Okay. Hopefully, he doesn't get enough taunt. That's really interesting. And 
Yeah, I think we just don't wait the rest of it. Oh, nice. Their deck is fascinating. Weirdly, the undead mirror was like the last thing I expected to see. That's... huh. Their board is very sticky. What were the other... I know there's a legendary priest card. Oh, Got a key that damn card. Oh, we're not missing... we're left wanting for cards. Okay, but that's not death rattle. So there are death rattles in there. Okay. In that case, we will go arms dealer. And a second one. Good board. We're probably going to take it. Again, dealer and go fix. This deck does not win if the game has to go long, so the quicker we can end the game, the better. Granted, that's pretty true of like every aggro deck, at least not a conceptual level. Oh, oh, okay, I don't even care if I lose this game. That's fascinating. Two damage all enemies. Friendly and dead died after your last turn. Deal two more. That's super fucking cool. Okay, what do we do here? How do we not die? Is the million dollar question. There's no way I threaten lethal, so we can play board clean up here. So I think we'll do a necrobite on two. Maybe a couple of web boards and a peasant to try and just slow down their board. So we'll do like one here, one here. We want to hit the 2 2 so that if he decides to trade, he can our board. He dies. This is fucking fascinating. This is one of the more more fun games of Hearthstone I've had in a while. I love when I see, like, at least new to me, like, new brews. That's fascinating. So I guess the time. Welcome to the comet. That's fascinating. We just die, but it's like, that's. Just, I don't care. That's so fucking cool. Yeah, that's fantastic. <laughs> we'll go on now to game number three, since this game was kind of short. And if it's another priest, I won't bore you with another priest match. I'll make sure I find one that isn't a priest. Even if it is a very cool one. Anywho, now on to game three. It's king. And game number three with our little undead aggro. You serve me. I hope our Death. opponent is, like, running the, uh, the, the new Syndergosa, because I've been wondering how that card plays. Um, I guess we'll get rid of these two. The wither is nice, but without a board to, like, take advantage of the wither, then it's kind of pointless. He says as he draws it anyway. <laughs> Welcome back. Good talk. Oh, so we have good curve. One I to two, one to three. Is. Me have that body bagger tells you nothing. Fine. Okay, so I think I need to undertake her now and coin and banshee to like get it out of range of uh, just a trade with the bagger and the uh, hero power from our opponent. Let's see what our opponent does. If they do like really nothing, but that'd be that'd be crazy if they did. We can always uh, that, that Obliterate, I guess, would be a good card for him to play right now, right? Oh, heart. Pardon? That's a choice. It resolves. Um, in that case, I think we, well... We'll do Volatile Skeleton. I just want to, we just want to push face damage, really. Uh, heart Strike's one. Okay. At least two blood, because that, that was a raw dog run, Asphyxiate. Which is fine. I guess I think we'll just take a Kirk Forge and trade in, take a turn. After that, we can really start to develop a pretty big, sticky board, and if we need to remove something, 
at least somewhat uncurved from our opponent. We can actually just wither it away. That's fine. Yeah. In that case, we have to just do Geist and Sword. We have a lot of options next turn. Maybe we're running a little low on gas, but we do have a peasant. We can draw into Voracious Readers. So I don't think we're going to stay out of cards for too terribly long. While our opponent is not doing that much, I'll, I'll comment on the new Cindergosa card. I th think I'll, like, event I will get around to, like, trying to make that work, because that's the first card that's, like, remotely good that rewards splitting your rooms. I just gotta find, like, a good list for it. And to be fair, it is the only card that's, like, makes... I think it's literally the only card that's multicolored. Yeah, I'm down. But yeah, I will find something, some use for that eventually. I might wait for another, like, good frost slash blood card to come out to play it, but we'll figure out. Anywho, mind games. Time has come to dethrone oh, our that's real master. What is it? I guess it is gross. Job done. That's cool. <laughs> Fucking bricked it. Oh man, they probably have so much better shit in their deck and I got their fucking Prince Renathal. It's not even good on the cost. I paid for a 4 mana 3 4 with no fucking effects. Ah, oh, that's. that's brutal. Didn't get to keep it for a fucking turn. That seems about right. Oh, right, we just gonna keep on. Okay, that's something we could do something with that. Hey, Arms dealer, zombie, dealer power, and start attacking. That uh, blood boil is being a little weird. In that, like, it's it's not invalidating my damage, but like it's it, it's making it difficult. Because <laughs> one of those, I'm not gonna not play creatures. That, that that's just not how this deck works. But if I do, it makes the crit. Lord or Fiend, whatever the fuck it's called, take longer to die, so he's getting more life steal off of it, which is very weird. Okay. That's actually fine, kind of, a little bit. Let's see what we draw here. Okay. So if I play Undertaker and Skeleton, go down to zero attack. And we can, yeah, we can go ahead and protect the skeleton. Put it down their patchwork so it has zero attack. Trade in with a two helper and then just go face with it. This way we re, uh, retain the naturalized to get rid of like a big scary threat. They are getting a lot of health and like it's getting to the point where I'm concerned that we'll be able to turn the corner and end this, but we're still in this. It's not like totally dead. I just now realized they were running Blood Boil, and that's a, uh, I believe that's a pure blood card, so I don't think I have to worry about Sindragosa. But a Soul Stealer would suck too. I guess that would be a uh, Peasant. Oh, no, it's not now. Great. Um, that's pretty good. We'll do that. See, a solar stealer would suck, but if he plays it, we were fucked anyway. So if he sweeps our board again, if we don't draw like a card draw engine in the next couple of turns, like the, the literal next couple of turns after that, then the game is probably over. Like that. Very, very bad. So we give ourselves yeah, two turns to see if we draw a card draw. Not. That's not great. Uh, I guess we'll naturalize that. Fine, push over the edge. Probably not guy. Because board sweeper on a body is just a little bit too much value to, to feed. 
We got close, though. And this is honestly, like, pretty accurate, like, or pretty, not, not accurate, uh, pretty representative of, like, a good aggro versus a somewhat controlling matchup. Uh, okay, yeah, we don't go on the card draw, we're dead. In that, they got really close to dying, they set, they controlled, they waited, they waited, they waited, they turned the corner, and they have since turned the corner now, and I don't think I come back with this. Uh, there's, there's almost nothing I do. And they were pure play, yeah. That, that especially takes them, like, too far out of range. Okay, we got a card drive. We'll this, give it one more time. Be good. Probably won't change our fate. But drawing three is nice, so. Does he take his next Corrupted Ash over here? Swing to... Well, he has to hit the, the reader. It's, I'll just dump my hand and draw another three cards, which is not practical for him. Or our opponent. Let's not assume Jinders and be rude. Okay, opponent, what are we doing? But correctly so, hits the card card as they should. Yeah. I can't wait until the card pool gets big enough that like we just don't see these gin pop ass discover cards in every fucking death knight list. Because, dear God, does it get boring? I don't question that it's boring. It's boring. Same thing, if we don't draw a card draw engine, we'll, we'll probably just scoop. Especially if we're seeing other combos just drew another after him, which damn near seals our fate. Yeah, okay. So yeah, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you'd like it, subscribe if you'd like to see a grab bag of content and more in the future. And if you have any sort of budget list or budget recommendations or concerns or however you want to word that, go ahead and leave that down in the comments below. <laughs> Remember to stay safe out there, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.